Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still working on industrial electronics ent entry. Uh, in this platform, we are going to be focusing on AC theory that is uh, from the question paper of uh, August 2021, 20, which was uh, actually on question number six, uh, which is uh, on AC theory. So we are given the circuit uh, on question six, on fig two below shows a parallel RLC circuit uh, ref uh, referring to the circuit answer, uh, the questions that follow. So this is the circuit that we are given that we are going to be focusing with or that we are going to be using. Uh, we are given the inductor, the resistor, the capacitor, and the voltage source with a frequency of, uh, 50, of 60 hertz in this case. So the first part of the question was to calculate the current uh flowing through the inductor that is the current through the inductor in this case all right so i want us to check uh back here from our circuit so this is uh 6.1 all right so this is where we are having our inductor in this case all right so let me just try to put it this way okay so that is uh 6.1 so in order for us to have the current through the inductor, which is referred to as IL, this one, we are going to get it from the voltage over the uh, inductive reactants in this case. So why using the voltage source, this one, we are having a parallel circuit where we know that the voltage in parallel is the same. So here we've got 110 volts. Here we've got uh, 110 volts. Here we also have 110 volts the voltage in parallel is the same so meaning to say the current through the inductor is going to be equivalent to the voltage uh, which is the total voltage or the voltage across the inductor because it's the same as the supply voltage in this case over the inductive reactance which is xl so we do not have this inductive reactance we do not have for the voltage so you're supposed to calculate uh, XL, where we know that XL is equivalent to 2 pi FL, whereby uh, we can substitute our values, that is the frequency is uh, 60 hertz in this case, so using the frequency of 60 hertz times the inductance, which is given as 25 Henry, so this is 25, so we are going to obtain our XL, uh, so if we are to simplify properly, this is going to give us uh, 3000 pi, which is uh, as a decimal, this is going to be nine, uh, that's nine, four, uh, two, four, comma, seven, seven, eight to three decimal places. So this is our XL, which is the inductive reactance. That's the re re resistance of this inductor. So that means with this, we can calculate uh, the current across the inductor because we have the voltage, which is the same, uh, which is 110 over the inductive reactance, which we got as uh, 9,424, uh, 778. All right, so this is going to give us the current across the inductor in this case. And we are going to obtain uh, something like 0, 0,0, 1, 1, uh, 6, 7, and so on. So we can even express to milliampere's, remember, uh, current is measured in amps. So we can even convert our answer to milliamps, where we know milliamps is 10 to the exponent of minus three. So in order for you to convert to milliamps, you multiply by the opposite of 10, uh, the inverse of 10 to the exponent of three, we are uh, 10 to the exponent of minus three, which is 10 to the exponent of three. So the moment you multiply by the inverse of milli, which is the 10 to the exponent of negative three, you are having your answer now in milliamps. So if you are to do that, you multiply, uh, this is going to give you uh, 11,67. In this case, uh, there's a one in so forth. So this is going to be one in milliamps. All right, so this is the current across uh, the, in, uh, the inductor in this case. All right, so that was the first part of the question, having four marks to calculate uh, this current. The other part of the question, which is on 6.2, was to calculate the current flowing through the capacitor. That is four marks again. So across the capacitor, we have the same concept. In this case, this is where we have our capacitor here. So we're going to apply the same concept just like previously. Uh, we saw that in order for us to obtain the current through the inductor, just like the capacitor, we are going to use the same voltage 
but now using the capacitive reactance, which is XC. So we are supposed to calculate XC from the C, which is our capacitance in this case. All right. So we know that XC is equivalent to 1 over uh, 2 pi Fc. So this is going to give us uh, the value of XC, which is, uh, if we are to take our values we have got one over two pi times the frequency which is a 60 hertz in this case times the capacitance which is 0 0.5 micro farad micro that's uh to the exponent of negative six that's a micro all right so this is going to give us the value of the capacitive uh reactants in this case which is going to be five thousand uh three hundred and five comma one six five yeah uh, to three decimal places so with this value uh that we have obtained we can be able to calculate uh the current across the capacitor because we have the voltage which is the same throughout of 110 divided to the capacitive reactance which is uh the one that we got as a uh, five thousand three hundred five comma one six five all right so we are going to obtain our current in this case uh from this uh division make sure that you apply your calculator properly this is going to be uh 0, 0,011309 and so forth and so forth so if you round off uh i mean if you to, to convert to milli just like the previous part you multiply by 10 to the exponent of 3 this is going to give us 11 point uh that's 1 2 3 uh 11.309 and so forth so just something like 31 in milliamps like that all right uh or you can just save it as three one uh depending with the values that are uh, you are seeing on your calculator so if you had to check the other values that this is going to be a one this is going to round off so it's gonna be uh a one here all right so uh let's just uh have this as three comma uh three comma it's still fine uh, whatever value that you're going to use is still fine uh but just for maintaining the values that i was actually having uh it's going to i'm going to just use this one as it is all right so with the value of ic we are now having a question on 6.3 weights we are given now to calculate the current flowing through the resistor so across the resistor we still have the same thing uh we have to check the voltage across the resistor which is the same because it's in parallel then uh, with the resistance, we have got the resistance. In this case, we're going to use the voltage and the resistance. So that means uh, we can have the uh, current across the resistor in this case. Uh, since we know that uh, the current across the resistor is equal to voltage across the resistance, which is the voltage. Remember, we are having a voltage of 110 in this case. This is the voltage uh, that we are given of 110. The resistance uh, that's 2,2 kilo ohms, so which is a kilo, which is to the exponent of 3. So this is going to be 2,2. So we are going to divide by 2,2 times 10 to the exponent of 3. This is going to give us uh, the current across the resistor in this case. All right, so this is going to be uh, 0, comma, that's 0, comma, 0, 0,05 amps, or you can even uh, write it in milliamps, just like the previous part, you multiply by 10 to the exponent of three, then you can have your answer in milliamps, which is going to give us uh, 50 milliamps. If we are writing in milliamps, but you can leave your answer as 0, comma, 0, 0,05. All right, so that was the person on uh, the current across the resistor. Then we move on to 6.5, well, 6.4, we are given to calculate the total current. Uh, that is the current across uh, the, 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 the second, the whole second, this total current IT. This is the total current. Remember, this is in parallel. So we are supposed to have this as the phasor sum. So the phasor sum, you compare between the two uh, currents that you got before. That is uh, uh, IC and uh, IL in this case. We are going to compare these currents, IL, it's 11, comma, uh, 6671. Uh, then I see it's 11,31. If we are to check here, we can see that uh, uh, the current, all right, the current across the inductor is greater than the current across the capacitor. If this is greater than, that means the current, which is our total current, is going to be the phasor sum which is the phasor sum, which is uh, IR squared plus, you subtract now 
IL minus IC on a condition that IC was greater than IL, then in that case, you subtract IC minus IL. But in this case, IL is greater than IC. So we shall have this as IL minus IC. So it's going to be IL minus IC to the exponent of two. So this is what you're going to have as your phase are sub. So you compare these two, which one is the bigger current that you're having? But in a, in case that you uh you mis uh, uh calculated or you mis uh, uh inserted the values in this case, it is not going to affect why because remember you are going to square the answer, so this is not going to affect your answer. But just in case of proper uh calculations, this is what you're going to do. But it's not going to affect your answer even though you vice versa the two. All right, so this is going to be the square root of IR, which is the current across. So I'm going to use the milliamps everywhere. I'm going to apply the milliamps, which is uh, my answer is going to be in milliamps also. So this is uh 50 uh milliamps for IR. So you're going to have uh 50 squared. So that's 50 squared plus. IL in milliamps, we have got our IL in this case here in milliamps, which is uh, 11, uh, 671. That's 671 uh, minus IC in milliamps. Again, we have got our IC in this case here, which is 11, uh, 31 also in uh, milliamps. We are going to square this part. So this is going to give us the total uh, current across the circuit. So this is how we can determine uh, the total current from uh, the given currents that you have. All right, so this is uh, going to be uh, 50, 001 uh, milliamps. So this is what you're going to have in milliamps to three decimal places. If we had to round off to three decimal places, or it can just be 50, approximately 50 uh, milliamps. All right, so this is what we had from the information. Uh, so you have to take note, this is uh, what you're supposed to apply. And also, this is not in resonance. We are not having anything about a resonance circuit. So you have to be careful about uh, your questions. All right, the last part of the question, which is 6.5, was to calculate the phase angle, uh, which is uh, two marks for that, the phase angle. All right, so from our information, how can we calculate uh, the phase angle. So uh, the phase angle is equivalent to, uh, which is our theta, is equivalent to the arc course of uh, the current across the, the resistor over the current, uh, uh, which is our total current in this case. So the formula you're also having in your formula sheet. So it's arc course, the current across the resistor over the total current which is the values we have them in this case, the current across the resistor, we got here, it was 50 uh, milliamps and the one across the, the total current, it's 50 comma 001, which is approximately, approximately uh, 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 the same thing in that case. All right, so these are the two that we are going to use or that we are going to apply. So that's, that means that theta is going to be the arc course of Remember the current across the resistor, we say this is uh, 50 milliamps and the current, uh, the total current, we say it's 50.001 like this. All right. So we are going to have uh, something like uh, 0, 0.362 uh, degrees like that. All right. So uh, it um, depends with the, the, the values that you had, uh, the rounding off part, uh, how it affected you. You can use the actual, uh, actual values. Your answer is going to be approximately in the same uh, range with these values that we are having. Sometimes our uh, the values might not be exact, but those values, they'll be marked as long we are having the exact thing uh, or the exact steps uh, properly followed. All right. So that was it, guys, on AC theory from the question paper of uh, August 2021. As you can see, uh, this is how they can ask these typical questions. So you, that is how you can answer questions under parallel circuits, that is of uh, RLC in parallel. Okay, that is not at resonance and no more parallel circuit. All right. So that's it, guys, from Amazon African Motives uh, till we meet again.